Oh well, looks like it's time for another install video. So today is going to be a very simple installation of the seat cowl. It's a Triumph part. You see the part number on the screen. Uh, you're going to need a few tools today. You want to get the bike up on a paddock stand, and get the seat off. And the tools you're going to need are a 10 millimeter socket, a 6 inch extension, a socket wrench, and a 3 millimeter Allen wrench. First thing you're going to do is take your uh, 10 millimeter and take the screws off the bottom of the seat that hold the strap, the passenger strap that goes across the seat. Uh, these were pretty much hand tight. You can use your six inch extension as a nut driver if you want. And that is the only reason you need the socket set. So you can set that to the side and clean your seat up real well. Don't want any dust on the seat because if so, when you put your seat cowl on there, you'll just have a bigger mess than you started with. All right, so once that's done, you're gonna take your seat cowl going to flip it upside down and start pulling all of the stickers off of it and preparing it for installation. One thing you have to do is you have to put a little rubber or foam square on there and that kind of keeps the pressure off of your seat. Uh, you want to clean everything up with a little alcohol and a rag. Uh, that way it'll have a, a, a good chance to bond. So you take that little square piece of foam and you stick it in the little square insert, press it in good and tight, and it should look something like this right here. All right, now that that's done, go back, grab your seat, start lining things up, cleaning things up, getting them ready to go. I use wax as you dry, and just wipe everything down, have it looking good, Check everything out, make sure everything lines up. There are two tabs on the seat cowl that slip over the back of the seat and two holes, one on each side. And that's all there is to it. So I wanted to test and make sure everything lined up. Everything seemed to line up just right. And uh, it just, everything just seemed kind of dirty to me, even though I'd wiped everything down. So I went back and scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed to make sure that everything looked all right. And it did. So uh, then I got the piece, put it on one more time, made sure everything lined up, pressed it in nice and snug, and everything lined up perfectly. Uh, I grabbed the screws. You have a three millimeter Allen screw. Uh, you have a, a washer that's flat on one side and kind of got an indentation on the other. The indentation the screw head goes into, the flat side goes to your motorcycle. You have a plastic washer that protects your paint and put a little Loctite on there, line it right up and tighten it up. Do uh, each side, very easy job. Uh, just don't remember, you're talking about plastic on plastic. There is a torque measurement for that. It's like six Newton meters, it's virtually nothing. Um, I snugged it up with this wrench, didn't have any problem whatsoever. Put the seat on the motorcycle, lock her down, and you are finished. And that's all there is to it. It's a beautiful piece. Um, I got it through uh, Pure Triumph online. They're based out of Pompano, Florida, and uh, they did a great job getting it to me and sold it to me at a great price. You guys have a great day, and we will see you next time. Be sure to click like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. And uh, remember, this is a 2015 Triumph Speed Triple if you're wondering the year. We'll talk to you later.